Corning was an agricultural city with no, not much in the way of manufacturing until the glassworks moved here in 1868. The Houghton family lived in New England outside of Boston and they invested in a glass factory there, the Union Glass Works, in 1851. And they operated the Union Glass Company until the 1860s and around 1864 they decided to move to New York and they bought the Brooklyn Plink Glass Works in New York City. And then in 1866, a Corning man, Elias Hungerford, invented glass window blinds. And he visited Brooklyn, he met the Houghtons, they got the bright idea that they would move this factory to, to Corning. And the Houghtons loaded all the equipment on barges, landed at the foot of Walnut Street, and built their factory. And so Corning has been in Corning ever since. And at the time they came, one of their biggest products was blanks for cutting. A blank is a blown piece which has no decoration and is meant it's blown to be cut or engraved. Cut glass at the time was extremely popular and there were several hundred glass cutting firms uh, around the United States, but there were nearly 20 of them in Corning. Some of them were very tiny. They were basically just, you know, a cutting shop out back of somebody's house with two employees. But the big ones had, uh, Hawks had a couple of hundred employees, Hoare had a hundred employees. Uh, there were a whole bunch of those. And that's why it was nicknamed the Crystal City. That was what the, the town and the company were known for at the turn of the century. From, I think, the 1870s, it's a small plant with two smokestacks. By 1905, we have a photograph uh, which shows the Corning Glass Works with 10 smokestacks. So obviously a huge increase in the amount of their production and the number of glass blowers they employed from probably 20 people when they first the factory first came here to the turn of the century 30 years later the number of people concerned with the glass industry just mushroomed uh, and it was quite a few hundred people in 1900 and they've gone from cookware uh, to uh, decorative tableware to a variety of other things in spite of the fact they never made those window blinds they came here to make <laughs>